Messianic Jewish Theological Resources, Part 1. What are some important resources describing the Messianic Jewish experience? I realize that for many of you watching or listening to this channel, you're not part of the Messianic Jewish movement. Statistically speaking, there's a much higher probability that you are a part of the independent Hebrew or Hebraic roots movement, or you're part of some independent Messianic assembly which just uses the term Messianic and throws it around, and you have very little idea about how we got to this point in the quest of faith, if we can call it that. But what are some of the important resources about the Messianic Jewish experience. Uh, how did you see the rise of the Messianic Jewish movement formally in the late 1960s, early 1970s, uh, which had to exist in order for any other spin-offs to exist? And I'm just providing that as a matter of, of information. The Messianic Jewish movement started out as an evangelistic movement to see Jewish people come to faith in Israel's Messiah. And it's very vital, if not imperative, that all of us be aware of who some of the Messianic Jewish pioneers are uh, or were. Uh, we can understand their stories, their experiences, some of the theological development, because with the 2020s now upon us, we are very much continuing in that legacy. We are continuing to uh, build upon their work and see not only a huge number of Jewish people come to faith in Israel's Messiah, but deal with the uh, expectation of the nations coming to Zion to be instructed in God's Torah. And of course, more than anything else, see Israel's Messiah return to planet Earth and him reign from Jerusalem. So what are a number of resources out there that detail the Messianic Jewish experience. Uh, well, one of the most, I've got a little stack here, but one of the most important books that you will ever read to just get a feel for how the Messianic Jewish movement got started, why in Jewish outreach and evangelism, you say Yeshua, not Jesus. You say tree or execution stake, not cross. You don't use certain terms in Christianese and you'd be very sensitive to Jewish concerns. This is an absolute classic, is The Fig Tree Blossoms by Paul Lieberman. This is a book that you absolutely have to read. And yes, it represents a very early stage in the Messianic Jewish experience. It was originally released, I believe, in, okay, here it says, first edition published 1976. I was going to say 1971. But this is an excellent book, The Fig Tree Blossoms, that you just have to read. Uh, it's no different than how in many people's Christian experience you just read Pilgrim's Progress, right? Or you know, you know, you read in uh, elementary school, you know, Huckleberry Finn or Tom Sawyer. You have to read The Fig Tree Blossoms by Paul Lieberman. Another excellent book uh, is Born a Jew, Die a Jew by Johanna Chernoff. Uh, although it can probably be debated. But one of the first Messianic Jewish congregations in North America that called itself Messianic Jewish was Beth Messiah in Cincinnati, Ohio, led by Martin and Johanna Chernoff. And then later they moved to Philadelphia to found Beth Yeshua, which today is led by David Chernoff. And some of you are certainly familiar with the songs of Joel Chernoff. Uh, well, uh, Johanna Chernoff was uh, Martin Chernoff's wife, and this gives a biography of their lives, uh, Martin coming to faith in Yeshua, their marriage, the early work of the Messianic Jewish movement in the 1960s, 1970s, and into the 1980s. Uh, and this is, a, 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 again, a resource which you just kind of have to read. And in particular, some of the challenges that they faced in seeing the Hebrew Christian movement transition into Messianic Judaism and the resistance uh, that they had to uh, founding Messianic Jewish congregations, uh, which uh, you saw resistance from the early Hebrew Christian pioneers and certainly a lot of resistance from uh, various evangelicals. Now, this is something which 
Some of you might have. Uh, this is something I picked up a while back. Uh, Introduction to Messianic Judaism by David Chernoff. Uh, I felt kind of obligated, having just mentioned Martin and Johanna Chernoff, to mention David Chernoff. This is a very a sh small resource, but this is a, a good thing that can, uh, if you see it spiral comb, so you, uh, you tend to only encounter it at the different Messianic conferences. Uh, but this is a good resource to have as well to acclimate you to more of the Chernoff story. Now, another resource, and this is rather new. Uh, let me check the date on this. I guess this came out in 2015. Uh, and this is uh, by Paul Lieberman and Jack Wasson. Uh, Don't Call Me Christian. This is uh, the first installment detailing uh, Paul Lieberman's experience in coming to faith in Israel's Messiah. It's a very uh, exciting story. I, I read this this summer uh, and I couldn't put it down. Uh, and it uh, talks about you know his family coming to America, getting established in Chicago, uh, Paul being involved with politics in Washington, uh, and how that led to him considering Yeshua getting a Bible uh, and some of the early challenges uh, of the Messianic Jewish movement in the 1970s, particularly in the uh, greater Washington, D.C. area. And that's where the book ends. But this is a really good book that you really need to read in order to just get a feel for some of the uh, spiritual as well as social dynamics of what it meant for some of these early Messianic Jewish leaders in coming to faith. Now, one resource I'm, I, I'm doubtlessly sure many of you have, uh, this is something that recently came out in a new edition. I don't have it yet, but this is Our Hands Are Stained With Blood by Michael Brown. Uh, this summarizes a great deal of Christian anti-Semitism over the centuries. Now, I know that for many of you, uh, you come from a Protestant background. Your ancestors have been in North America for centuries. Uh, why do I have to know about uh, the pogroms in the Russian Empire, which took place on another continent? Uh, it didn't directly involve me. Uh, what about the Holocaust? My grandfather, my father uh, was... Uh, fought for the American army, fought with the allies in the Second World War. We liberated the camps. We were responsible for the camps. But still, uh, our hands are stained with blood. Very important study to know about much of the historic Christian anti-Semitism that has existed and the challenges it presents in terms of declaring the good news of Israel's Messiah to the Jewish community. So you definitely want to read this at, at least one point in your Messianic faith experience. And then finally, and this is more theological than experiential, this is a, uh, a mainstay in the Messianic Jewish experience. This resource originally came out in 1988, although there's an updated edition from 2007, and this is Messianic Jewish Manifesto by David H. Stern. This does describe David Stern's experience in coming to faith in Yeshua, uh, David Stern is, of course, the uh, principal translator, producer of the Jewish New Testament, the Jewish New Testament commentary, and later the complete Jewish Bible, which I, I'm sure many of you all have. So this is a good uh, study for you to have, of course, in you know, 1988. It's a little dated. That's why in 2007, this updated edition called Messianic Judaism, a Modern Movement with an Ancient Past came out. Uh, and this is quite similar to Messianic Jewish Manifesto, but it is updated in some places. Now, one of the things you need to know about theology, and one of the things you need to know about all of these resources, some of these describe personal experience, the challenges of what it meant for a Jewish person in the 1960s and 1970s coming to faith in Yeshua, and the pressures of, well, you're no longer Jewish, you're a Christian, you need to come to church and you need to assimilate, or you're no longer Jewish, you're a Christian, we want nothing to do with you as your family, you are dead to us, or you're just crazy, and or you're just going through a, a phase, this will pass, and you'll return to the Jewish fold and get rid of all this Jesus stuff. Very, very important that everyone in today's Messianic community engage on some level with these kinds of resources. You need to get acclimated to what got this whole modern Messianic movement started. Do you have to agree with every single position in these tools here? Of course not. Uh, that's theology for you. 
uh, any of us in our examination of the development of the Protestant Reformation know that there are going to be things that we agree with some of the early reformers on, and there are going to be things that we disagree with them about. And that's just the progression of God's Spirit and God moving throughout the ages. But you definitely need to rec uh, read these uh, tools at one point or another in your Messianic faith experience. You need to know how this movement got started originally as being an evangelistic move of God's spirit to see Jewish people come to faith. And you need to see some of those original questions and issues that the first Messianic Jewish leaders were wrestling with so we can trace a history of development to where we are today with the 2020s now upon us. I think you'll be blessed by many of these studies, but I think you'll also be able to detect how certain other questions have come up in later decades, the 1990s, the 2000 aughts, and the 2010s as we move forward in the plan that the Lord has for our very unique and special faith community.